Hey folks, it's Charles again. I'm the inventor of the popular Bio Blaster series of ozone generators. And today I'm here to show you some of the exciting ways you can use our industrial grade fruit and vegetable sanitizer. One of the first ways to use this awesome machine is to ozonate your drinking water. Folks, oxygenated water has been shown to have all kinds of health effects. It can be used for drinking, it can be used for douching, it can be used for cleaning, it can be used for sanitizing, it can be used to eliminate the pesticides from fruits and vegetables, and a myriad of other applications. So if you'd like to drink a glass of water that's been ozonated, you just put the water in a, in a glass, drop your air stone in, turn on the bio blaster, and it begins to fill that water with the power of oxygen. It doesn't take very long, folks, just a couple of minutes, and this will be some really intensely oxygenated water. This is a heavy-duty, super powerful ozone generator cell with a heavy-duty, super powerful pump, a magnetic piston pump, not one of the cheap diaphragm Chinese pumps that are used inferior Chinese-made products that are sold all over the internet and Amazon.com. This is a heavy-duty industrial grade ozonator. So now, just a few seconds later, the water has been ozonated. Take out our stone. It's loaded with the power of oxygen, destroying all the contaminants and filling your body with that life-giving oxygen molecule. Oh, it tastes great. Looks another way that we use our own popular BioBlaster fruit, veggie, and olive oil sanitizer is when we go grocery shopping, we like to make sure that even if we buy organic produce, that it absolutely is free of bacteria, viruses, and pesticides. The produce that we buy today, folks, has been grown in soil that's depleted, but it's also treated with lots of different pesticides and even fertilizers that are made from oil. And folks, that's just not healthy to put into your body. So what we do is we fill up the sink with water, and then we just put in all of our vegetables. And it keeps the vegetables fresher, longer. It destroys all the harmful pesticide residues. And in general, it just keeps your food the way that it should be, clean and healthy. Lettuce that's been treated and vegetables that have been treated with ozone last longer, it's been proven. Now what we're going to do is we're going to exchange the bubbler stone from the glass of drinking water. We're going to put in the much larger surface area bubbler. We can use, you can use this to ozonate your bath water. You can use it to ozonate fruits and vegetables. We're just going to put it in the bottom of the sink, press the button, and in seconds we're making millions of bubbles of ozone gas bubbling it through this water. Now, it's going to take between 10 and 15 minutes to completely eradicate the pesticides. And it's a good idea throughout the treatment to just make sure that you spin the food around so that all of it gets completely exposed to the ozone gas. After that vegetable treatment is done, you can then move on to your fruits. When we buy them from the store, we just dump them into the sink. Bananas are especially noted for having lots of toxins, toxic pesticides applied to them. And our kids just love them. We go ahead, we start the ozone process, and in 10 to 15 short minutes, these fruits will com be completely sanitized. No bacteria, no salmonella, no E. coli, none of the other bacteria that live on fruits. They're going to be completely disease-free, and all of the pesticides will be broken down and eradicated at the molecular level. Ozone, folks, turns all toxic chem chemicals, almost every one of them on planet Earth, into carbon dioxide and water. And that's what's going to happen. As this bubbles around, it'll break down the pesticides into carbon dioxide and water. And you can check out the ozone science tab to see a chart of that breakdown. Folks, not only has our fruits and vegetable supply become um, inundated and infiltrated with toxins and chemicals and pesticides, but in fact, we no longer go to the local butcher 
And so we don't know exactly how our meat has been processed. There have been a ton of studies that have come out. If you just Google Campylobacter and chicken juice, C-A-M-P, O-L-Y-C-T-R, Campylobacter, bacteria or salmonella uh, or E. coli, you'll find that our poultry has often steeped in juices that come right from the processor contaminated with toxic bacteria. And so what we like to do before we use our chicken or before we freeze our chicken is we drop it into the water in our kitchen sink and we like to ozonate it. And what this does is it kills all the harmful bacteria. And then this chicken will last for a much longer time in our refrigerator or our freezer. And we can be absolutely assured that it's completely disease free. And so all we do is we start that ozone bubbling again. And then we leave this run for about 15 minutes. Poultry works a little faster, five to 10 minutes because you don't have the chemicals to break down. But we run it for about 10 to 15 minutes anyway, just to make sure. And now we've got sanitized, disinfected chicken, completely disease free, no Campylobacter, no E. coli, no Salmonella, no danger of getting anybody sick at the family picnic. Looks an another thing I really, really like about sanitizing the chicken in our kitchen sink is when we're done finishing sanitizing the chicken, and we rewrap it for, for cooking or for processing, freezing or whatever, is at the end of the time, we don't have to worry about leaving behind the toxic chicken juice on our countertops and in our sink because the water itself becomes a sanitizer. And that's another way you can use the power of the BioBlaster ozone generator. Another way that you can use your BioBlaster ozone generator is to make ozonated cleaning water. It just takes about five to ten minutes. Once we get two parts per million in this water, it will sterilize viruses, bacteria, mold, and mold spores, and it'll do it in a hurry. You just drop the hose into your bottle, begin bubbling that ozone gas throughout, and you'll have an amazing sanitized water that you can use to spray. And what we do is we add a little dish soap after we've put our ozonated our ozone in the water as a surfactant and it's great to use as a household cleaner. Now you do need to to do this fresh every time you're going to clean. This isn't something that will last in the solution but in five to ten minutes you can use it for completely green germ-free chemical-free sanitizing and uh, surface cleaning in your home. Another way you can use your popular BioBlaster ozone generator is to oxygenate the body. And folks, the skin is the body's largest organ. And it is literally the easiest way to get the ozone into your body. So what you can do is take that same large air stone that you use for sanitizing the fruits and vegetables, put it on your hose, drop it into your bath water after you've filled your bath. And we recommend that you turn on an exhaust fan. And what that will do is it will exhaust the ozone that bubbles out so that you can let this run for a good half of an hour. And what it does is it literally fills that bathtub with roiling, boiling ozone gas. And after 20 minutes, you can then get in your bathtub and you'll literally be soaking that oxygen in through the surface of your skin. There's no easier way to get oxygen into your body. So if you're suffering from a myriad of health conditions, from yeast and candida to fibromyalgia and a host of other conditions, people have even used this for cancer. It's not a treatment, folks, but it is a way to get oxygen directly into the bloodstream. The BioBlaster fruit, veggie, olive oil sanitizer. So many uses.